Let me lay hands on you and pray per. What's good, Doozy Nation? Doozy family? Happy Friday slash happy Saturday to you. Uh, hope your day is going well. So, Sis went live a few times today, but honestly, I missed them all. I think he went live twice or three times on Instagram and once on Facebook. I went to uh, record to Facebook, but he, I guess, deleted it. And honestly, I'm all right with that. Um, sometimes you actually need a breather uh, from uh, things that can possibly pollute your mind and pollute, pollute your spirit. So um, at first I was max. I was like, dang, I ain't going to have no content for today. But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? It's fine. You know, it gives me a rest. Um, I try to, when I record these lives, I try to listen with one ear and block the other one because I really can't stand to <laughs> ingest all of that, um, especially when we get into the fake religion and all that good stuff. I, I can't really, uh, uh, nah, I can't do it because it, it pisses me off more than anything because um, I'm a man of faith. Um, and I get offended when we go into the fake tongues and we start lying about God said this and the Lord spoke to me and said that child, as much as he says the Lord speaks to him, God ain't got time to speak to nobody else. Cause apparently he's sitting on Andrew's shoulder 24 hours a day. Like, bro, this is what we're going to do. This is what you're going to say. And so it, it bothers me. Um, but I try to take what he says with a grain of salt and um, look at it from the more comedic, he's so dumb aspect, but you know, anyway. Um, so I guess we can just talk for a minute. Um, eventually I'm gonna go into doing actual lives with you guys so we can interact one-on-one. -on -one. But like I said, I guess I'll take this time to just, just kind of free hand talk uh, so let's start with my history with sis. So of course I saw the little 2014 viral video like everybody else. And was like, this is a damn idiot. Um, automatically knew there is no way in hell this man is delivered from anything except maybe from calling dominoes. That's about the closest he furthest he going to get away from delivered at all. Um, I saw the purse fall out his mouth. As soon as he was talking, I saw the, the pancake cremation makeup 45 splatter all over his face it was just it was just obvious um but after that he just kind of fell to the waist after me i really didn't hear or see too much about him i honestly didn't start picking back up with him until early last year 2020 um i don't know how i got into him maybe came across a Facebook or Instagram or something like that. And I'm like, oh, this dude is still around. And then I'm like, this dude is an effing idiot. And so I kind of started doing some like research on him, looking at some of the older videos um, on YouTube. There is a um, channel, J What? He has a lot of sis's old videos or older videos, like from when he was blind and stuff like that. So if you ever want to uh, kind of splurge into the, the Caldwell cauldron of cunt, check out that uh, page. It's actually quite entertaining. But anyway, so he actually became my guilty pleasure during uh, the pandemic and during the lockdown. And maybe I had no idea what I was in for. I don't even know where to start. Um, at first, he was tolerable because he was just more so bragging, showing off, lying about who he knew and how much money he had and stuff like that, uh, sashaying through the mall. You know, it was rather harmless. Irritating, dumb, but harmless. I could deal with that. But when we moved into the 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 spiritual aspect of it all that's when it was like oh, okay you yeah i'm not feeling you 
And I think what makes it worse is that you have enough people on his lives that amen him and and say, oh, he preaching at night and, and all this good stuff. And I think that's what makes it worse for me. And that's what pisses me off more than anything. Because it's like, what God are you serving? What Bible are you reading? Because we we, we ain't in the same group because... The, the the Bible I read uh, speaks against false prophets and and the Antichrist and Andrew is clearly both. Um, I doubt if he is the Antichrist, but he definitely has the spirit of the Antichrist about, about him. Um, and sadly enough, he has a big enough platform that um, if he was actually smart and was wielding all of this false information, he could really do some damage. Um, so, thank God for stupidity. We just let us say that. But yeah, but that that's that's the part that gets me is that he actually has people on the on his lives that actually support the nonsense. Anytime you, as a Black female who we arguably know is the most disrespected person on the planet and the most uh, disregarded and underrated. Shout out to you. But anytime you as a as a black woman who is spiritual and who who believes in God can watch this man degrade other women, not just other women, but other black women. And you're fine with that. You can listen to him call people fags and dykes and 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 trannies and things of that nature. And um, no offense with these terms, but I just want to get my point across. Anytime you can sit there and and just listen to him disrespect and disregard these these other marginalized groups, and your response is "Amen." Oh, he preaching. That that is so disheartening to me, and it's like I I I, I don't I don't get it. Um, but in the, in the same breath, you'll be on Ti's page on Instagram, um, standing up for women's rights and and you can't bully us and things like that. But you're supporting a top bully, and I hate when people want to say that oh we bully andrew no first of all i need you to look into the dictionary and and look up the definition of a bully a bully is someone who goes after people who are perceived as weak who can't stand up for themselves um who cower under such um attacks andrew is not a bully First of all, because he, he, you know, he always would say that, you know, we're on his platform. He's not on ours. You know, he can block you and, you know, causes demons and devils and, and ungodly and hearts of cold and all that good stuff. That's those are not the words of someone who's being bullied. Um, he comes on there with his wet and wild lipstick popping and pursing his lips, calling us everything else but children of God. Um, always wielding that he got St. Louis police in his pocket and he got many, many lawyers and he got this team and all that good stuff. Find me the person that's being bullied. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, and what makes it worse is that there's so much evidence out here on YouTube of him, part of my language, is being an asshole and just... Um, acting like he a, a top white male executive or something like that. And I want him to realize that as hard as you try not to be, sir, you are still a minority in multiple groups, okay? You're black. You're ugly. You ain't the most skinniest person out here. And you're gay. You may have a couple of thousand dollars in your account, but you still got all that other stuff tacked onto your big broad back. So you are just as a minority 
as the rest of us are. So I don't know what makes you think you special. You know, those uh, family dollar rings he wear on his fingers, that moth-eaten, matted uh, raccoon possum fur, that lint, that chocolate-covered, lint-covered milk bar that he called a hat that he wore in his head. I don't know what makes him think he's above us, but baby, you not. You, you are not. If you got arrested, you would be a black sissy being arrested. Just saying. But, um, yeah, so I, I just, I just, I don't get the, the support. Um, I just, I don't really get it. Uh, Bigo really showed his true colors. Um, he could disguise somewhat on Instagram and Facebook, even YouTube, but Bigo showed his true colors because he got around like-minded people and he got around uh, like-minded spirits. This is what my pastor would call familiar spirits. And if you notice... He had, you know, sprinkling of, of females on there, but the majority of his panels were gay black men. And at first he tried to, you know, be a little butch, but, you know, seriously, how butch can he be? But eventually he, he gave in and that facade that he tried to keep up of the, the Christian straight man, it, it, it fell apart. And... And that queen with the capital KW came out and it was like, yes, I'm free. I can play. And baby, did that spirit play. Ooh. Um, I don't know how many conversations he had about bottoms and tops and, and things he used to do and things that he's probably still doing that he's getting ready to do it, you know, as soon as that broadcast went off. But yeah, that, that showed his true spirit. That tro showed who he truly was. Um, and I was actually glad to see it. Uh, aside from the the um, the hatred and the nastiness that he spewed out of his mouth, I was actually glad to see him living in what could closely be said his truth. Um, only thing he didn't say was, hey, um, I'm getting ready to suck some dick after I get off this live. So, you know, have a good night. But um, it was cool to see because most of us out here just want him to, to live his truth. Um, just be who you are. You would be much more hap be happier if you just came out as the power, lazy bottom that you are. Um, no judgment over here. You know, do what you do. Because sis looks like, just a side note, he looks like he is a lazy lay. Looks like he just, you know, would be laying on his stomach and you come in and he like, okay, you ready? Just go ahead and do your business. And, you know, he'd be shopping on uh, Chanel.com while, you know, you trying to climb that broad back. And he'd be like, ooh, yeah, yeah, mm, shine dough. You know, but that's, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. Um. But yeah, um, if he just lived his truth, he would not be miserable. He could be free. He could be happy. And maybe he wouldn't have, uh, feel the need to uh, live this life of false pretenses. But anyway, back to Bigo. Um, like I said, he was living his truth. But that nasty spirit also came raging. Um, he was like unfiltered on Bigo. I will never forget the live when he told that woman to suck his dick. First off, what dick? Um, because I think the only thing that's down there is desperation, wishes, and the remnants of fried ribs. I don't think there's anything down there to suck. I think he is a... Um, a uh, human Ken doll, you know, it's just plastic down there. It's um, the ninth circle of hell down there. It is um, a chasm of despair. It is a abyss. 
It is the place that you see in your worst nightmares. And yeah, that I think that's what's down there. But yeah, he told that lady to suck his dick. Brother Andrew, um, Minister Caldwell, who, who what, 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 um, speaker of the word says that, um, what man would say that to a woman that you don't, a woman period, but a woman that you don't know, um, on a broadcast that you know is going to be recorded and replayed and things like that. Um, who, who, who does that? But then you'll turn around talking about you respect black women. You love black women because your mom's a black woman. So how can, how could I not love black women? That's a hell of a way to show some love. I'm just saying. So it was interesting when, um, Mr. Milan ran that ass off of Vigo and then he wanted to claim that it wasn't because uh, he was embarrassed. It's because his supporters um, told him to get off of there because it wasn't doing anything good for his brand and his image. Baby, what brand? The only brand you got is that daggum Andy's battle that you be promoting. And uh, your wannabe Starbucks endorsement that it's never going to come. <laughs> never. Read my lips, Andrew. Never. I don't care how many times you go live in their establishment, mispronouncing their beverages, um, slurping down that strawberry refresher like it was holy convocation. It was the last night. Starbucks is never going to give you an endorsement. Matter of fact, no one's going to give you an endorsement. The closest you come is that damn smile science teeth whitening crap that you peddle every couple of months that it's probably doing more harm than good to the lady who makes it um she probably right now like wishing like damn i wish he would stop promoting this um yeah but no you 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 got ran off of bigo because you was embarrassed because somebody spilled that tea on you and it burned and you was embarrassed and there was no way you can come back from that no amount of yelling and lying and, and, and grandstanding was going to negate the truth. And that boy had receipts, pulled out the, the Instagram screenshots on you. What could you do to come back from that? Absolutely nothing. So you ran your coward butt off of Bigo and then tried to say that you was pr trying to protect your, your brand. We all know that's a lie. Uh, let's see what else can we talk about it's late and like I said, i'm just kind of freestyling off the top of my head i plan on having like some talking points but i thought this might be just a little more genuine and i am quite random so i was like this should be entertaining because i don't ever know what's really gonna come out of my mouth when i get on a tangent so hope you guys are enjoying this um this store the store and the candles are in the same place. Never land. Never going to happen. He touted those candles and this wellness line with these uh, incense and incense and oils and things like that. Diffusers. We ain't seen. Matter of fact, he ain't mentioned those diffusers or those scents at all. And he barely mentions the candles the only time he mentions the candles is when somebody mentions in the comments and you can see he gets a little pissed when somebody brings it up because he like in the back of his head he like damn i thought y'all forgot about that you know i thought i moved on to these uh cheap korean purses and i thought y'all would leave them candles alone but you know we got good memories we don't we don't forget anything especially when it comes to your lies and deceit um those those candles will never make an appearance and if they do, it's going to be some candles that he bought from, you know what, how much you want to bet that right after Bath and Body Works has their annual candle sale, all of a sudden he's going to start showing candles. I bet you. I bet you. The annual sale happens, was it December or January? Mark my words, pin this video. I bet you, as soon as that sale comes out, probably like 
two to three weeks after they had that sale, he gonna start promoting candles. He gonna take them, he gonna try to take them damn labels off and paste on his little funky butt label. And he gonna try to market them as, as his candles. I bet you, I bet you, because that's just how stupid he is. But uh, I'm sorry, I got a little passionate about that. Uh, but yeah, those 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 candles are never coming out, and this store is not happening. I don't know. The bad thing about him is that he can't keep track of his lies. He lies so much; it's second nature to him. But he's not even a good liar. A good liar would be able to keep track of everything that he or she says. That way. They can produce evidence and receipts to kind of back that up or, you know, just kind of slide it to the back where we can't remember. But no, Sis lies so much and he's bad at it and can never remember the lie he told. So he'll tell us a lie tonight in a live video. And then on Monday, he'll say something that completely contradicts a lie that he told tonight. And then he'll act like we're stupid. No, not us. True. But yeah, but we but. Don't y'all remember the store that he was supposed to open up back in, was it 2019 or the beginning of 2020? Um, you know, he was getting ready for his grand opening. He was going to have chandeliers and marble floors. And, you know, he had his staff and he was ready to go. And I think on one video, he actually had got dressed with that damn pilgrim bow tie. Um, he put on his best crematorium makeup and had slicked them hairs down. And he was getting ready to go to a dinner celebrating the opening and then you never heard anything else about that story after that video almost like it was made up so i'm i'm really thinking that this store is going to go the same way as that first store and probably this lie will last until the new year and then after the new year we won't hear anything else about it just like we never heard anything about um, the hats that he was coming out with. Uh, we never heard anything else about the Steve Harvey collaboration that he was coming out with. Uh, we never heard anything about anything else about the many, many, many other photo shoots that he claims to have every other month. Uh, we never heard anything else about the orange juice. Um, what else has he said he was coming out with? Um, I think he was supposed to be in Forbes magazine once they was profiling him, um, Forbes ain't never heard of him. So many other lies that he's told and he, he, he builds it up and talks about it. And I don't know if he just forgets about the lie or he finds a bigger lie to tell in place of that one. And then that one just kind of falls down the list of priorities. Um, I know that was one way I got blocked on one of my profiles. I asked him about the uh, Steve Harvey line and next thing I know said this live is ended. Uh, so I don't know. I guess I hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. So, All right, so I'm at the 23 minute mark. So I think I've uh, rambled long enough for this evening. So I got, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I just wanted to talk in place of showing him. Um, and let me know in the comments what would be a good time to start doing actual lives with you guys. Um, do you prefer mornings, afternoons, evenings, weekends? Kind of let me know because I want to, you know, of course, get the the, the best viewership and I want to have as many people on interacting um, as possible. I try to keep this channel, you know, fun and things like that. Definitely about exposing sis and contradicting his lies because he makes it so easy it's, it's just easy to do like i said you're not even a good liar you know that was that was uh no phaedra was a good liar on real housewives she just didn't have a a, a good response when that whole thing with portia and candy came down she kept it up for this for the season but she didn't cover her tracks enough. Andrew's not even that. Andrew just says whatever sounds good. And then just forgets to lie. Which which makes him just just so pathetic. 
if he didn't aggravate me so much, I actually might feel sorry for him because all of this just stems from a childhood where he was ignored and didn't get the attention that he deserved. And he really needed attention since we all know that Sis was riding a short yellow bus uh, with one seat, a harness, seat belts, a helmet, uh, padded walls that only open from the outside. Uh, so he needed some extra attention and he didn't get that. Francine was off somewhere popping out babies and sucking on Colt 45 bottles and progressively losing her teeth. So she didn't give Andrew the, the attention that he needed. And that's why he craves so much attention and validation now as physically as an adult because his mind is not there his his mind is still between adolescence and 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 puberty um he's mentally stunted mentally and emotionally stunted and that's the main reason why he has sought validation and attention from anybody or any organization that would give it to him. So that started with the, that started with men, which transferred over to the church, which then segued into current situations with social media. All he wants is someone to validate him and say, hey, you are important. Hey, we like you. We care about you. And if only he would just be open and honest, he could get that and it would be genuine. Right now, people people support the foolishness. They support the antics. They don't support the man they don't support andrew as a person they support him as entertainment as someone that uh they can turn tune into and know that he's gonna act a damn fool um on a lesser scale i would actually put him and trump in the same category very narcissistic um, very attention seeking, very polarizing, but yet they still have supporters, but they're not, but those supporters of both Trump and Caldwell, again, they don't support the person. They support the ideology. They support the character, the, the persona. They don't support the person. The actual person is very despicable, very, um, loathsome. And I don't know he'll if he will ever get that. But right now he just he he again he loves the fact that um he can get on and a couple of hundred people will will tune in and about a third of them will say, Hey, we love you, keep you know doing what you're doing and all that good stuff. And as long as he has at least one person backing him up and supporting the bull, he he will continue to do it because his main goal his main goal for me and you can correct me if I'm wrong is to have another viral moment like he did in 2014 and short of him coming out the closet that doesn't have a door that we can all see in that has rainbow lights around it short of coming out the closet or short of his um passing i think that's the only only way that he would be as viral as he was back then and speaking of viral ain't it a shame that 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 is what he is is basing his whole worthiness his whole life on him having this 15 minute moment back in 2014. What have you done since then? 
what contributions have you made to the the church? What ha contributions have you made to society, to entertainment, the arts? What have you done significantly? Your profile seven years later still says internet sensation went viral in 2014. That's sad. You got money, you got rented cars, you got women's clothes that are too tight for you, but you live in a shoebox apartment that costs less than $800 a month. Um, what, what, do you, what do you have to show? I mean, like I said, what have you done? What growth have you accomplished in seven years? I'm not as far along as I would like to be at this point in my life, but I've damn sure made strides and progressions um, in seven years, a lot more than he's done. You know, um, I guess this is my contribution, this YouTube channel. But what has he done? What does he have to show for seven years of hard work and um, fasting and praying and all this good stuff? A receding hairline, bad breath, broken teeth, and a belly that I'm sure is holding quadruplet pit bulls. And on that note, you guys have a good night. I love you guys. Thank you for the continued support. Again, thank you for the comments. You guys have me rolling. Um, thank you for the engagement. Just thank you. And you guys have a good night.